It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. It's Barcelona against Borussia Dortmund. Well, we started with 32 teams, Derek. Seems like an eternity ago. Now we're down to the best two. I've not played in the Champions League final. I surely wish I was playing tonight. Turn the clock back and let me run out there, please. Barcelona shape looks like this. And this is it, the final of the UEFA Champions League. It's where everyone wants to be. Only two sides can accomplish that feat. And Lee, it's going to be fascinating to see what happens tonight. Well, it is. It's the big part here. It will be after the game. But as players, it's very difficult to try and stay in the moment and not get carried away. And that's the job of the senior players in the dressing room, but also the coach. Look around your team, see the calm ones, have a word with them, get them to pass the message on, stick to the game plan, go out and win the game. And introducing the Borussia Dortmund side, Roman Burki gets the nod and goal. Dan Axel Zagadou starts with Mats Hummels in central defence. Axel Witzel starts with Emre Can in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. A massive part of the equation for France and their World Cup victory in 2018, Antoine Griezmann, Lee. Well, he's a real threat, isn't he? Different type of centre forward. Not going to win the ball in the air very often, but anything around the feet, around the box. He's absolutely brilliant. He's not bad in there. Grien, can he put them in front? A goal for Barcelona. The Blaugrana out in front in the Champions League final. So how important will that be for Barcelona to get their noses in front? That remains to be seen. Well, here's the replay. It comes off the keeper and he's every right to ask where his defenders are. They were second to react and it's in the back of the net. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, all the hard work has paid off, but the manager knows a lot more has to be done to secure this game. Guerrero. Hazard, Hazard, and the keeper had the measure of it. Well, they might be trailing, but hope in the form of a corner. Emre Can, and Witzel with it. Holland, Marco Reus, and they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, the offside flag has been raised. No goal. Well, it was close, but he just went a little bit too early. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Hazard. And this is Royce. This could be the equaliser. To Sting it! It's an unbelievable save! Emre Can now. 
looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game teammates available oh can you believe this just when it looked as though the door was locked it's been reopened well they're back in it and you can hear the relief of their fans game on well, as we see from the replay, it's a classic pullback cross that sets up the chance. But as good as the move is, the goalkeeper has had an absolute shocker. Beaten at his near post, terrible. Pjanic and he's made headway it's there for him and they nudge in front well fabulous celebrations they've got their noses in front Derek can they stay there well here's the replay he's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate and then a 2v1 both of them teasing the goalkeeper that really is a lovely worked goal well he's delighted isn't he we can see that calm is needed now just to consolidate this lead cool heads over by Guzman Dembele it had an invitation attached but he couldn't avail himself of the opportunity well just look at him he thinks he's in just wide can he finish them off and now the wait is over Barcelona have done it the Champions League trophy will return to Catalonia well, magnificent end to a long, long, hard season. Eventually, they've got their rewards and fully, fully justified. Well, for one team, it's a story of celebration. For the other, bitter disappointment. But the Barca players will remember this night for the rest of their lives. As a player, Lee, as a Barcelona player in this case, this is what you want to experience. Well, it is. You have expectations at the start of the season, all those long, hard training sessions in pre-season. You kind of need a goal to get through that pain. And focusing on winning trophies for Barcelona will be that carrot that they need. It's Barcelona's Champions League. And they've got to savour this. It's not every night this comes along. Well, probably will be here next year, you never know. <laughs> the way they play, but fully deserved. And they'll have uh, celebrations right throughout the night with their families and friends. Well, this is the moment I love, sharing it with the fans. Ticker tapes coming down, the families in the stand, giving them all a wave. Well, they've travelled all over Europe watching this team. Now they get to share in this moment, fantastic. And it took fire as well as ice on the pitch. Well, you never know when these moments are gonna come along, Derek, in your career. Absolutely relish them with your teammates. No question about that. There we have it, the club champions of Europe.